Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do an infinite list or lazy loading. That way when we get to the end of a list like this, what we see is uh, more items. It never runs out. That's how Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, all those companies do it. They don't load all their data at once. As you're scrolling through their feed, they load more. So we have ourselves a flat list right here, but it's static. Now I'm going to show you how you can go to the next thing. So the requirement for this is to have a backend that actually supports pagination because um, that's what's working at least in some shape or form now we're using the random user API for this and it does come with pagination so I can say page 0 page 1 page 2 or whatever and uh, it gives always gives back random results so paging is not useful so to make sure it's not random we use seed um, if you're not familiar with seed, basically what you do is you pass it a string, and as long as you pass it a string, it basically, uh, and it could be like anything, numbers, words, anything, just to, uh, it'll use that and uh, basically unrandomize it. Anytime you use that seed, you get the same order back. So that way we can page through it. So we're going to use that. I'm going to copy this URL here, and we are going to use that in our code. So I have the URL here. We're gonna just replace what we had before with this. And now we're gonna have to add some stuff to our state, right? Cause we need to be able to change the page here and fetch different data. As we're going down, we're gonna change what page we're on. So page is gonna dynamically change. And the second thing, I wanna show a loading indicator. So we're not just like, you know, scrolling through. Um, I wanna actually like, hey we're loading like give user feedback so that's I'm gonna put a loading uh, boolean to check for that um, and then we're gonna have to change our fetch here instead of just rendering page zero we need to change this so it grabs the state right so this dot state dot page so whatever page the state's on it'll go ahead and um, load that and also I'm gonna set the default to 15 um, you'll notice that the reason I'm just saying the default size is that way it actually goes past the bottom of my screen so that way I can actually start scrolling and we're not loading as soon as you know we've already made a call um, all right so now we are set up to handle this and what we basically want to do is call fetch data when we get to the end of the list right so when we get to the end we want to fetch more data how do we know we're at the end of the list well flat list actually tells us you come over here, I have the flatlist documentation up, and they have this cool function here and here. Well, these aren't functions, they're props called on end reached and on end reached threshold. This is uh, gives you basically a function that can be called uh, whenever the end of the list is reached. And now this is basically, you can say how close you want to get before this is getting called. So you could put zero and wait to the bottom, or as this is saying, you could wait. You could like start loading while you're halfway through the list. You can change this to you know however you want to do it. So I'm going to copy these props over and add them to my flat list. So I'm going to set the threshold at zero, meaning we once we get to the end of the list, we will call this function, and I'm going to create a function called handle end. So handle end here. What I'm going to do is twofold. So I'll create the function. So we want to fetch data, right? But we first want to update page. So what we're going to do is call this.setState. And normally you would just set state, right? And say page is equal to this.state.page plus one. But this actually won't work here. And the reason for that is if we're scrolling really fast, handle end will be called multiple times. So if we just you know normally call like fetch data right at the end like this. Well if handle end is called twice at the same time, um, this is asynchronous, so it won't update this page. You get a race condition because this dot state is not going to get updated because they're both running in parallel. So to fix this what you can do, and this is safer code, is you can actually pass the state in as a uh, function here. So you can pass a function that returns an object uh, to set state. Few people know about this, but it's very nice in this case to avoid uh, the scenario I was just saying. And what we really want to do is we only want to call fetch data 
once the page has been updated, right? So you can actually give a second parameter to handle end, which is a function to call after the state has been done or finished updating. So we're going to call this stuff fetch data. All right. And I'm going to just scoot this to another line here. And it doesn't want to do it because I have an auto formatter, which is fine. It's not that long. But basically what we're doing here is we're updating the page. We go to the next page and then we're grabbing the data for that page. And there's one other thing we need to do. Um, and that is with data here. So same thing. Um, now I want to do uh, dot 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 this dot state dot data because we're appending onto the end. So we need to append onto the list. And I'm going to go ahead and do state like this for the same reasons we did it before. And oops. Oh, I accidentally pushed caps lock and just messed up everything. Okay. So I have that there and then have state here. There we go. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and put loading to false here and set this dot set state loading true. We're not going to do anything with loading at first, um, but we will add an indicator later. First, let's see if that worked. So I'm going to scroll down and as I'm scrolling, when I get to the end, we should call our function, which we're not. So let's come back and see and make sure we did everything correctly. So this dot handle end, I'm going to go ahead and make this a lambda too. So this dot handle end, that could have been it. Sometimes it, it doesn't like it if you just pass it like that. So handle end, this is going to set the state. Uh, we're up incrementing the page. Um, and then the pay we're calling this dot fetch data. Fetch data here will add to the end of the data by getting whatever results already in the data and adding it to the end. So this is a pending JSON results to the end of data that we have. And we're setting state. Yeah, this looks all good. I'm going to refresh and make sure. And still nothing. So uh, I'm guessing that the on end threshold, this thing is not getting called for whatever reason. Because this dot handle, okay, let's let's make sure what, what I'm thinking the problem is is actually the problem. So this looks good, this looks good. I'm thinking that handle end is never being called. So to test this assumption, I'm going to say handle end, handle end not called. Or we'll say called. So now I'm going to come over here and do react native uh, log iOS. This will give me an log, a con uh, whenever I console log it will show me. So this is how I like to debug when there's problems like this. Because we're reaching the end of the list, we should be calling it, right? But we're not, so we'll see. Um, and sure enough, it is not being called, right? If I search for the word called, and it's not there. So for whatever reason, um, oh, <laughs> That's why, guys, I have a typo here. It should not be on reach. It should be on reached. All right. So now I can get rid of my console log because I'm confident. And now we're going to refresh. And now we're scrolling. Bam, you see how more stuff uh, popped to the bottom? And also what I just realized, uh, this Gulistan lady. Oh, look, Gulistan popped up twice. I thought it was a duplicate, but I think that's just, I think that's their problem, it's not our problem. See how Gulistan and then Gulistan is down here too? But I think that's a different thing. Okay, so we see fill up and then we're scrolling and then we can go down more and we're, you know, as we're scrolling it loads when we get to the bottom. Now we can play with this threshold a little bit. Maybe if I do 0.5, um, it'll auto load as I'm going down. So maybe I never hit the bottom. Like notice as, as I'm scrolling, um, I actually don't even get close to the bottom. I mean, here we're hitting the bottom, but it immediately jumps up. We might be getting uh, end of our how many API calls we can make. But notice how we don't reach the end as much because we're setting the threshold higher. Okay, so that is how you do infinite loading. 
I want to do one last thing before I end the video, and that's how to do a loading indicator. Because we want to not just scroll to the bottom and have it, you know, pop to the next thing. I'd like to see it like a loading indicator while it's doing it, you know, kind of how, how Facebook or Twitter does it. So to help us with that, we're going to use the activity indicator um, from React. Um, so what this we what we'll do is this this guy this component um, we're gonna grab from React and it just as it says it's just a little loading spinner, and then there's a footer um, that we can actually do for our list list footer component. So I'm gonna copy this. So this is the component that is displayed at the bottom of our list. So at the bottom of my list, I want to show an indicator only if we're loading though, right? I don't want to just show it all the time. So I'm going to say list component. And for now, I'm just going to say activity uh, indicator. And then import this from React Native. So activity indicator. And then come back down here. And I want to say animated. I think that was the prop I needed. Animating, I need to set the prop to true. And size, the default small, I think that's fine. We'll see, we can always make it large if we need to. But we need to make this animating. Okay, now we're not we're not showing it just on load. Oop, can't find variable activity indicator, activity indicator. Um, we're loading it here. Oh, activity, there. Just misspelled it. And we get a stack trace. What's going on there? Something, did it crash? Oops. I don't know if it crashed. Oh, no, it didn't crash. We're fine. Check it out, guys. At the bottom here, we now we see that little loading indicator. It actually is super small. Uh, I'm going to make the size of it bigger. Um, so, size large. All right, now I'll come back over here. So now when we reach the bottom of the list, you can see it loads. And actually, that's pretty good, right? I don't even need to add anything else. I was going to say only show that when it's loading. Like you could do, um, you know, right here I could say this.state.loading. If it is, we return null, else we return uh, this. But I think it looked, it probably looked fine as is, right? I think it's actually probably a little snappier. Eh, I mean, it looks pretty snappy right now. That's pretty good. Now let's see without the loading. Let's see how snappy it is. Yeah, actually, this looks just as good. I think it, it looks like it's loading a little bit longer. See how long it took for that one to load? Look how long this takes to load. But if I, oops, but if I do this, this dot state dot loading and then null, it makes the appearance it loads faster. Look how lo fast that loaded, right? Like that's really fast loading right there. So you might not need to do uh, even worry about loading in your state if you don't want to, but it made it look like it loads a little bit faster. So just the way it renders. So kind of interesting. But that is it for this video, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep loading in here. Um, but yeah, we have a list now that we're, gonna, we're infinitely scrolling through. Um, I want to do a couple more videos on this. Um, one, I want to show you guys how to actually implement your own backend to use pagination. Because um, we're just using this API that has it, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have your own servers you want to hook this up with, and so you're going to have to create the back end. So I'll show you how you can do pagination with SQL. Um, and then also I want to show you how to do this with GraphQL too. So a lot of cool, interesting videos going to be coming up with infinite scrolling with that stuff. Pagination, loading stuff on the fly. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.